What's up guys, welcome back to Razor RC. Got a review today going on my TLR22 short course truck shocks that I've mounted to my slash two wheel drive racer. And uh, you know, if you've seen my preview video, I kind of talked over some of the benefits of the TLR22 shocks. And I just wanted to talk about uh, how it's been performing on my particular truck. So quick recap of the shocks. You know, I got them mounted up here on, on the front and rear. Uh, excuse the really dirty truck. I, I, I ran it today, didn't get a chance to clean up. Someone was actually complaining that my, my truck was too clean, so I decided to leave it dirty today. But anyways, uh, yeah, so these are what the shocks look like when they're mounted. Uh, TLR22 SCT 2.0 shocks. Basically, all of the truck shocks, 2.0 and later, the stadium truck or the short course are all the same length. Um, any of those will basically work, as you see here. Uh, some nice features, all aluminum shock caps, shock bodies, uh, aluminum shock adjuster. You basically got uh, a, basically a bleeder screw up here on top uh, with a copper washer. Um, all machine Delrin internal, super smooth. So you have basically two by 1.5 pistons up front and two by 1.6 pistons in the rear. Two X-ring seals on the bottom, an aluminum basically end cap here on the bottom. Three and a half millimeter shock shafts that are titanium carbon nitride, carbon nitride coated, super durable, even more durable than chrome or titanium nitride. Um, and they're extra thick, three and a half millimeters. And then on the bottom, you actually have uh, different size shock cups. Um, this is the plus zero offset, I guess, shock cups is what they're called. They also make a plus four millimeter shock cup, which basically extends up a little higher if you want to use shorter switch. So anyways, uh, super nice shocks. Um, I think some of the best on the market. I paid 60 bucks for these on eBay for a set of all four. Basically people will part out uh, low C kits and uh, this is bag D, which is basically the shock bag cap, uh, shock bag. And uh, mounting these up is, is quite simple. Uh, basically it comes with these plastic little standoffs use those and then use like a, I don't know what I use, like a 12 or 14 millimeter screw, uh, M3 screw. And then you can just gotta put a little washer on here so that it basically doesn't slide off the uh, uh, button head right here. And then on the bottom, um, you just basically use the uh, hollow ball from your original Ultra Shocks and mount them in the, uh, basically the holder here on the bottom that comes with the TLR. So uh, it mounts really simple. You know, front and back, uh, no issues there. Everything that you need comes in that bag. Um, plus, you, you just need a few screws, uh, like 12 or 14 millimeter. Um, so how do they perform? Um, in a word, they're just awesome, man. Super smooth, uh, don't leak. Um, I'm able to actually use short course length springs, which are a little bit longer than stock springs. Um, basically, the ultra shocks are big, basically buggy length uh, shocks, so you're using buggy length springs. With these shocks, you're at, they're actually quite a bit longer than the stock ones, so you can actually use short course springs. Um, I'm running actually team associated springs, so these are the 54 millimeter front springs, and I believe it's green. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm running uh, gray, sorry gray up front and gray in the rear. And so uh, these springs are 54 millimeter up front and 72 millimeter in the rear. Progressive springs working out really well. Um, and then shock weight oil, I'm running 40 weight up front, 35 in the rear associated oil. You might wanna try something a little bit softer. That might be a bit too stiff for your track, but my local indoor clay track is high traction. So that's working out pretty well. I might go down two and a half, but um, it's, it's somewhere around there. And so, uh, yeah, just super, super nice shocks overall. Um, the benefits of this, in addition to being smooth, leak-free, and uh, you know, basically just awesome aluminum parts, is that basically you can actually get uh, the correct amount of droop up front. So as you can see here, I've got a little more droop than the stock Ultra Shocks will allow. And then in the rear, basically, I'm now actually able to run the shocks all the way out on the arms. I don't know if you can actually see that. Yeah, there you go. So I'm actually able to run the shocks all the way down the arms. That gives me a little more of a progressive action. Um, tends to basically kind of build up uh, uh, basically spring rate and damping as you get through the uh, suspension travel. And so uh, setup wise, in addition to you know those shock weight oils and those springs, I'm also running limiters up front. So the stock uh, shocks are about 85 millimeter up front and I think it's 
90 millimeter, I'm uh, sorry, 95 or 97 millimeters in the rear. These are a little bit longer than stock. Um, fronts are about 90, 92 millimeters. I'm not exactly sure how long, I, I haven't measured them in a while. And the rears are 110 millimeters. So the rears are quite a bit longer. They're like 15 millimeters longer, I think. And the fronts are about five, six millimeters longer. So that gives you a little extra droop um, or it allows you to basically remount the shocks um, basically more at an angle than the, the original uh, shock locations will allow you to do. So more droop. Uh, gives you a little bit la better landing. Um, if you look at my particular truck, I have the fronts a little bit higher up than the rears. The rears kind of extend down a little bit more, um, but a little bit more droop up front. Basically, it lands it, lets it land a little more plush, um, a little more uh, suspension travel, and you know, overall, it doesn't chassis slap nearly as much as it does uh, in the stock configuration. And then where I've got them mounted up front, I've got them basically mounted inside on the top shock tower and on the bottom also on the inside that gives me basically it's basically for droop reasons is why i've got them mounted there and then the rears as you saw the bottoms are mounted all the way out and then the tops are mounted uh, on the inside hole so overall uh, very happy with these shocks you know I, I don't think the ultra shocks are completely terrible if you get the right springs uh and the right shock fluid they, they will work um but you won't have enough uh, suspension travel up front and then also you, you you still can't really quite get stiff enough springs on that thing um, with the uh, stock shocks. Um, so I, I really like these TLR shocks. You know, they're cheap, they're super nice, super smooth. And then the main thing is basically they, they give you more adjustability. <laughs> if, if you've been watching my build series, you know, I'm, I'm huge about uh, basically being able to tune, adjust your truck as much as possible. And, and that's basically what this allows me to do. Um, I think Team Associated Springs probably work the best with these shocks, just kind of the, the amount of uh, suspension trouble you have. You basically kind of need these long springs. Uh, other stuff that will work would probably be the Proline Pro Spec springs. They, they basically make short course trucks uh, springs, but I think they've actually been discontinued recently, although you can still find them online. So those are the springs I would recommend. Um, why did I not go with like Traxxas GTR shocks? Well, the GTRs, honestly, I've, I've run a bunch of those on my Slash 4x4. They're decent shocks, um, you know, not that expensive, but they got the plastic cabs. They got the bladder valve inside, which I can't stand. The, the bleeder hole is just a little hole in the cab. Um, and the main issue with those is that basically they come with 13 millimeter bore uh, pistons and you really can't get too many choices in 13 millimeter springs. So these are 12 millimeter. Uh, you can get a bazillion different types of springs, you know, pretty much they'll all work. Uh, especially these short course ones. Um, I also looked at big bore shocks, which are basically just aluminum versions of the ultra shocks. You know, uh, and I'll have all the, the typical problems with the ultra shocks. Um, I looked at Proline Pro Spec shocks, which actually look pretty nice. Um, that'd probably be my second choice if I didn't buy these. But they are quite expensive. You know, you're talking over a hundred bucks for a set of four. Um, they still have like molded pistons inside. Um, it's harder to get like rebuild kits and parts for those shocks because you know they're, they're not quite as common. These TLR22 shocks are widely available through like every you know racetrack um, here in the US. So easy to get parts, real cheap, super high performance. And the one thing I really like about these shocks is they're actually quite adjustable, not just in you know springs and stuff like that, but they come in a, a wide variety of shock bodies. So um, if you want, you know, a little bit longer spring, I'm sorry, a little bit longer shock in the rear, you can just get a little bit longer shock body. If you want it a little bit shorter than what you got here, you can run a little bit shorter shock shaft. So I'm actually running an SCT 1.0 shock shaft in the rear um, to get a little bit less droop actually. And, and they're all like totally compatible. So um, similarly up front, you know, you can make them a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, you know, whatever you want. And you can get different parts to sort of mix and match to get the exact length that you want. Um, so so yeah, overall very happy with this uh, set of shocks. In my opinion, these are probably the finest shocks you can get on the market at basically the cheapest price. So that's a win-win in my book. Uh, highly recommended. And um, you know, I, I, I think if you try this, you, you'll get a lot more performance out of your truck um, than you are today. So anyways, uh, that's my review of the TLR22 SCT 2.0 shocks. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if not, let me know. Put down a comment. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You know, I'm, I'm focusing on this last, these, these last bunch of videos, so um, there may be something interesting for you to watch. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and look for the next upgrade coming up soon. Bye.